And here we are again, back in the view dashboard of the Vico program. I'm just going to scroll down and find my Via house again, and I'm going to open uh, the project. And in a, a few uh, moments, I guess we will see this is open now. Um, I'm going to go into um, and tile. And uh, as you can see, I'm in the in the takeoff manager right now. Uh, in this pane, I would like to see the 3D model. And here we can see the 3D model. Um, if I just zoom out a little. Uh, in this pane, I want to see the takeoff uh, manager uh, right here. And uh, if I uh, look at this family here, this is the family of buttons. Right click and isolate them. You can see that um, if I just uh, array this a bit, uh, all the buttons here are the same. Uh, uh, and actually, in reality, this model was not designed to be used by Vico. It was just uh, an experiment in uh, figuring out how we could uh, take off quantities in Sigma. And therefore, all the buttons have the same uh, characteristics. So I need to change that. And um, that's what I intend to do in uh, uh, the next part of uh, the video. I, I want to separate these um, ceiling buttons from the roof buttons up, up here. So uh, that's what I'll do in the next part of the video. In that way, I hope I can also um, have two different types of buttons here, which I can detail later on in the planning. Obviously, this is just a study in, uh, in, in, in detailing. Uh, a lot of people will say, well, this is a lot, lot to do, uh, you know, to make of, uh, of uh, the model, but it's just an experiment to see whether it is possible to detail the model as much as possible. The first five or six videos uh, about um, Vico, uh, I used this uh, particular model. And unfortunately, the, the model was made not with the intent of uh, describing Vico, but it was made generally to, to look at um, how we could type code uh, different elements in Sigma and to, to, to ascertain whether, uh, how, in, in which detail we could get quantities out. So, but I've used this also as a basis for Vico. But um, if I click on some of the elements, for example, this insulation here, you can see it's in, in Danish. Uh, as is, for example, the um, the Batten family here. And this family is called Family 1. And this family down here is also called Family 1. So I, I need to clean up this drawing with regard to uh, to, to making these Battens different so that they, uh, the Battens on the roof uh, are different from the Battens on uh, the ceiling, even though uh, the size of the Battens and the, uh, the materials and so on are the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just for my own sake also to remember how to do it. I'm going to I'm going to, going to um, edit this family of buttons. So right now I've marked this button up here as you can see, and I'm going to go into Edit Family, and um, I'm going to um, to first and foremost uh, click on the button and and, and change the uh, the uh, the nature of the material. Right now, it's uh, it, it is pine, obviously, uh, which I, I guess is a, is a good ma material for a batten. But uh, the colors are, are kind of strange, I guess. So I'm going to use uh, the pine here, and I'm going to use the shading here in a in a slightly, um, shall we say, in a slightly uh, lighter tone. So I'm going to use this yellowish uh, color here. And for the cut pattern, I'm going to click on the cut pattern, use this one. Uh, and uh, also this shading here, I'm going to use this yellow. And I'm going to see if that uh, actually changes the... Um, I'm going to apply that to the... Uh, click OK. And uh, you can see, I think you can see that the color is, uh, is, is OK now. And I'm going to save this, uh, this now as a... Um, family, and I'm going to save it somewhere where I can find it. Um, uh, I'm going to save it in my uh, documents. Um, 
go into users and my my um, documents here. And I'll just save it here. I'm going to call it uh, ceiling battens. I've already got some uh, battens here, but I'm just going to call it something else. Um, Patterns for ceiling. So I can remember that. And save it. And um, I can load this into the project now. It's got a it's got a new name obviously. And uh, I'll load it into the project. Um, so now I can uh, start by choosing the different buttons. I'm going to use this foot plate also as a button. So I'm going to click on them all and uh, choose them one by one, making sure that I choose the correct ones. Um, hold down the control uh, key uh, and choose my uh, my buttons. I have uh, chosen them all, and now I will just click down here. And uh, try and find those um, those buttons. Um, and here, are, here they are. Buttons, buttons for ceiling. And. Uh, now I can click OK here, and if I now click on this one, I can see it's still called Family 1. Click on this one, this is called Patterns for Ceiling. So maybe I should, uh, you know, rename this instead of uh, Family 1, rename it Patterns for Roof. So I'll go through the exact same procedure as before. In other words, Edit Family. Uh, and go in and uh, save this. Uh, we'll probably also look at the materials uh, with regard to the uh, the colors and so on uh, with these colors. And uh, cut pattern and also this uh, color here, for example. Apply to that. Okay. And uh, again, save as a family and call this patterns for roof. Save it, same place as before, so I can find it again. Load into the project. And we're talking about this, uh, obviously. Um, click OK. Now load it into the project. And then uh, simply uh, choose uh, the buttons, and mark them, and then find them here. Well, I've chosen all the buttons on the roof now. I'm just going to go down and, and, uh, and find my uh, buttons for the roof here. And. Um, I've uh, now got them. So um, now we can say that uh, we have here buttons for roof, and we have down here um, this instance of uh, buttons uh, for ceiling. So there is a difference between them now, and uh, that can be identified when we get into to um, to Vico. And I'm, I'm going to change the names of uh, the insulation and probably also get in different colors and also the names of the, the um, trusses because right now they're in Danish and I want to have them in English for when I continue the Rico lessons. And this is valid for everything else also. And that ends this uh, extra lesson, which is really a reminder for myself how to... Uh, arrange the model so that it can be used uh, in great detail if I wanted to use it in great detail. Obviously this would be in a, in a, in a phase um, that is, uh, for example, uh, much more detailed than uh, outline or scheme design phase.